deleting email and other items. The simplest way to control your mailbox size is to delete email you no longer need. There are several ways you can delete an email or other item. You can select it and then press the delete button on the toolbar. You can click on it and drag it to the deleted items folder or you can press the delete key on your keyboard. If you ever want to delete an entire folder because you no longer need it, you can click on it in your folder list and drag it to the deleted items folder. Release the left mouse button when the folder is over the deleted items folder and now you can see that the folder has been added to the deleted items folder. Remember that items in the deleted items folder still count against your mailbox limit. How to delete multiple items. You can select multiple items to delete by holding down the shift key and clicking on the last item for a continuous group of emails or you can hold down the control key on the keyboard to select just a few emails. Then you can delete them by pressing the delete key on your keyboard, clicking on the delete button on the toolbar, or dragging them all to your deleted items folder. Permanently delete email. Every time you delete an email, it actually goes to your deleted items folder. You can see that all of the emails I just deleted are in the deleted items folder. I'll go back to my inbox and I'll show you how to bypass the deleted items folder. If you are sure you want to permanently delete something, you can press the shift key on your keyboard and then press the delete key on your keyboard while still holding down the shift key. You'll get a message asking, do you want to permanently delete the selected item? If you click yes, it will permanently delete the email without putting it in the deleted items folder. So that item is not in the deleted items folder. Delete the attachment. Sometimes you may have an email that has an attachment. You want to save the contents of the email for future reference, but you don't need the attachment anymore. You can save the email, but delete the attachment. To do this, double click on the email to open it. Right click on the attachment and select remove. Now when you close the email, you'll get a message asking if you want to save the changes. Click yes to save the change. Now you can see that the email is still here, but the attachment has been removed. Thank you for watching.